Hey everyone, last week I got the Axis Rotary Valhalla in and I've been using it for the last week. This is my very first pen machine so I'm really excited about just using this different style of machine and I want to share my thoughts and feelings about it with you and yeah, let's talk about it. So here is the machine. Uh, it is really small. It's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's really light too, which is nice. Usually when you are working with a machine, obviously the weight is going off toward the back of your hand. Uh, this, when you're working with it, the weight is not, you don't really notice it. It's more like working with a pen, um, which hence the pen tattoo machine name. Ha <laughs> ha. So either way, this machine comes in three different colors. Uh, this one is burnt orange. There's a black and an olive green. Uh, there are three different grip sizes. There is the one inch and then the 1.25 or yeah, 1.25 inch and then the one and a half inch. Uh, I didn't get the one and a half inch one because some of the grip covers that I use only stretch up to this uh, size, which is the 1.25 inch. I would get the, the biggest one just because I do like a bigger grip. But I mean, you can just build it up with a paper towel and your grippy tape like I will show you later. The biggest reason for me making this video um, and basically the biggest reason that I think that this machine is a huge game changer is this adjustable stroke wheel or knob. Um, you are able to adjust the stroke while you're tattooing without having to unbag your machine, without having to take apart your machine to uh, change the cam or switch machines, whatever. You can do it all with this just by turning this knob. You have five different strokes that you are able to use. You have a 4.2, 3.8, 3.4, 2.9, and a 2.5. Um, and for anybody that doesn't know what the stroke is, the stroke is basically how far the needle travels up and down. So if you want to use a shorter stroke, you're gonna use that for smoother shading because the the, the needle hits softer because it has a shorter travel distance, so it's, it's hitting a lot uh, softer. But it does hit the skin quicker, so you have to kind of think about that. So if you want to pull really crisp lines and pack color in, then you're going to want a harder hitting stroke, which is the longer stroke. I mean, you don't have to do 4.2, you can do the 3.8 or 3.5, whatever works for you. But you're able to change this as you go which is great because now I don't have to change machines. I don't have to think about, am I going to have to adapt during my tattoo because I don't want to change machines. I don't have to worry about that anymore. It's just a quick turn of the knob. This new feature with the changeable stroke has definitely opened up more opportunities for me to be more experimental and creative in my tattooing and just only using it a week, I'm already able to see that it is definitely already streamlined my tattooing process and made me go faster. I'm not trying to tattoo faster, I'm just getting things done quicker because I'm able to use the proper settings on the machine to get done what I need to get done. I'm also super excited about that this machine is now cutting down the risk of cross-contamination because you keep it bagged the whole time. Cleanliness is a really big factor for me. Uh, when I'm tattooing, I make sure that everything is as clean as it can be for the client, for myself, and I'm just really thankful that a company is looking out for that aspect of tattooing. Now one thing that really threw me off when I first started using this machine, I didn't understand why this did this, but now I understand after using it, uh, the cartridge spins along with the grip when you are spinning to make the needle come in or out. Um, at first I was like, oh, what the heck, why would you do that? I'm used to using uh, a, a normal click grip to where when you twist it, the top of the cartridge stays where it was and the grip just rotates. I now understand, I mean, maybe this is why they did it, maybe not. What I'm thinking is the reason that they did this is to simplify the design. Uh, a simpler design means that it's easier to clean and um, it's just more cleanly. So there's just this single thread right here and just the grip part. And there's nothing else, no moving parts besides these two things. So when you are, you know, you're tattooing, say some 
you know, blood or ink gets up in here, when you take this off, you're able to sanitize this this piece. There's not a bunch of different moving pieces that you have to think about autoclaving or cleaning. Uh, you just have to focus on this and this. So it's, I, I think, cutting down on the risk of cross-contamination by doing this, by making the cartridge rotate with the grip, which at first it was kind of weird, but you just get used to it really quickly. You just kind of spin the machine around and you just have to pay attention to it when you first start because I wasn't used to it, but I got used to it after doing my first tattoo with it. So besides that little complaint, and it's not even really a complaint, it was just basically me getting used to the new equipment, I would say I don't have any complaints about this. This is a solid machine. I like it, I recommend it to you, to your mom and your dog. They should probably start using it. So I do wanna keep this video short because I have to go, but I do wanna show you how I wrap this up. Uh, I never wrapped a pen before, and it took me a couple minutes to just try to figure out how I was going to do it. It's really easy, it's really simple, and it definitely cuts down on setup and breakdown time. Let me show you. If you wanna know about any of the other specs about this machine, just go to Axis's website. I wanted to kinda of keep this video more of a review and short and sweet and to the point. What I'll do to wrap this machine is I just get a clip cord cover and I basically just drop the machine down into it. And I'm usually standing up while I'm setting this up, so this is kind of weird sitting down. Uh, but I will just, I won't put it right up against the end of the clip cord cover. I just kind of use the side and bring the end of it down to the side like this. So then that way you have a nice clean flush area to poke a hole in for the cartridges. And I just take a paper towel. This is, well, it's two paper towels together. You fold it in half. And in this section, you're going to fold in thirds. Now, once you have it folded in thirds, you're going to take two pieces of tape, one on each end, basically to hold, oh, let me see how I'm gonna do this. Basically to hold the paper towel in place like this, you're gonna have half the piece of tape on the paper towel and half of it hanging off. That way it will hang onto the clip cord cover. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing to the other end, so in that way your paper towel looks like this. It could basically be like a karate bandana too at this point, depending on what your day is looking like. All right, I will then take my machine that is inside the clip cord cover. You're gonna have the clip cord cover pulled down toward the side like this. I mean, not tightly, but you're gonna wanna not have it super loose. And then you're gonna take the one end of the tape, tape it on like this, and wrap. You're gonna wanna keep the paper towel tight because you want your grip to spin when you spin this whole situation. It should look something like this where it's flush up against the edge of your grip. Next, I take this grippy tape. The brand name is PowerFlex. I know that there's a, t a ton of different uh, brands out there. I use PowerFlex. And then basically you're gonna do the same exact thing that you did with the paper towel, just with this. Remember to keep it really tight because now this is gonna tighten down the paper towel even more up against the grip to make sure that you're able to spin your grip and effectively move your needle in and out. Now, every time I'm done with the PowerFlex tape, the grip is no longer flush with the wrap, which is good because then you're able to pull the grip down a little bit, which makes the plastic a little bit more taut. And that way you're able to poke your hole in there easier. So then the last step is to just bring the clip cord cover down like this, plug your clip cord in and slide this out. And you're all set and ready to go. And then when you break down, all you have to do is rip this off. Throw that away, obviously. Don't throw it on your desk and pull this out. Now, if you did it right, the only thing that should have been touched or contaminated was the actual grip. So then that way, you're able to put this on your desk while you're cleaning up. You're able to assemble it and properly clean it and sanitize it. So that is my whole situation that I have going on here. I'm really happy about it. Thank you, Axis Rotary, for making an awesome machine. It's much appreciated. I have to go now, I'm late for things that I'm supposed to be doing. Thanks for watching.